West Asia is on edge. Another war could be brewing and the trigger could be this, an explosion in two oil tankers in the Gulf of Oman. With this, tensions between Iran and the U.S. have exploded. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo has blamed Tehran for what he calls the attack. He presented no evidence to back his claims, but said intelligence inputs point to Iran's culpability. The assessment of the United States government that the Islamic Republic of Iran is responsible for the attacks that occurred in the Gulf of Amman today. This assessment is based on intelligence, the weapons used, the level of expertise needed to execute the operation, recent similar Iranian attacks on shipping, and the fact that no proxy group operating in the area has the resources and proficiency to act with such a high degree of sophistication. This is only the latest in a series of attacks instigated by the Islamic Republic of Iran and its surrogates against American and allied interests. Later, Iran denied involvement. Foreign Minister Javed Zarif said the U.S. is blaming Iran without a shred of factual or circumstantial evidence. Iranian President Hassan Rouhani, who was also attending the SCO summit in Bishkek, along with Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, called the U.S. a serious threat to the stability in the Gulf region. In Manotegro, Dar Sharoet, Hassosi Garordode, Asuye Diyar, Dolat Omrico, Teye Dosole Gozaste, با استفاده ابزاری از ظرفیت اقتصادی مالی و نظامی خود و با ایجاد رویکرد تهاجمی کلیه ساختارها و قواعد بین المللی رو برهم زده America has based its claims on a video which they've released they claim it shows Iranian special forces removing an unexploded mine from the side of an oil tanker damaged on Thursday in the Gulf of Oman. The black and white footage allegedly shows the limpet mine on the Kokua Courageous, that's the ship. Now, limpet mines are also believed to have been used in the tanker attacks last month. It is a naval mine that can be attached to a target by magnets. Iran has a substantial arsenal of sophisticated naval mines and a history of using them to attack oil tankers in the Strait of Hormuz and the Gulf of Oman, especially during the Iran-Iraq tanker wars in the 1980s. But the Japanese ship operator has contradicted the American military, claiming that the crew members saw a flying object just before the attack. <laughs> How is the world reacting? China has called for dialogue, saying nobody wants war in the Gulf. Britain has said that there is no reason not to believe America's assessment implicating Iran for the attacks. Saudi Arabia also backs the US, no surprises there. Riyadh has claimed that Iran has a history of doing things like this. Japan, though, says that they have no intention of sending self-defense forces to West Asia to respond to this attack. One of the ships that was attacked was owned by a Japan-based company, and there are reports that both the ships that were attacked were carrying, quote-unquote, Japan-related goods at the time. Meanwhile, uh, Iran's national channel aired footage of rescued crew members on, of one of the uh, two tankers saying that they are in the best of health. The purpose of the video was to refute claims that Iran avoided helping the sailors who were working on the oil tankers. At, uh, some of uh, hospitality and also in the hospital was very great. I will surprise that everything is okay. I feel here uh, that uh, all people here are very hospitable and they are um, much uh, appreciated our visit here as, uh, as you can take care of us and uh, everything here are good.